Hello my workies fam! Welcome to my channel, my name is Mia and this is me for kiss and I'm not sitting straight. Great beginning. I'm a self-taught UIX designer and I'm here to make your life hella easier. Let's go! On today's video, we're gonna talk about Figma prototyping in a professional way, which is using variables to make it more smart, more interactive. This is game changer in user testing, so you can just go ahead and use Figma for user testing, share the link and do it all by yourself. So in this video, we're gonna do that. The previous episode, which is prototyping in a simpler way, is up here. Click watch that before watching this one because it can get a little bit hard to understand. I've also linked the file that I'm gonna use in the description if you wanna use that one and just see how I did it, you can use it there. And let's jump in there and let's start working this professional prototyping out. Okay, you guys, we're in Figma's environment right now. I'm gonna show you how to prototype with variables and let's see what we're gonna do. So the first thing is that basically I want to do something that if I put this checkbox to turn off, when I come back, I don't want that to be in the list. So if I turn it on, I want the USD wallet to come back to our list here. This is the first one. Second one would be, I want to be able to search something, write it down using this keyboard, search it, and then get access to this card as well. And I also want to be able to do this little gallery view as well so these are the three things we're gonna do it's a little bit hard so make sure you pause this video go back to exactly what i do and try it yourself i have started a file here nothing is prototype except for this horizontal scrolling that i showed you in the previous video make sure you watch that because if you don't you're gonna be struggling a little bit in this one get this file from community there's a version of completed one which i'm doing here for you and there is a for you version which is the version which has no prototype so let's get started let's do the prototype together the first thing i'm gonna do is the checkbox thing so in order to create that checkbox we have this checkbox here ready i want to go to local variables here i want to create a new variable i want to create a boolean variable so first i'm gonna write down show usd and I'm going to set the variable to true. Also going to create two more show engine and show euro. So I'm going to set the, all those variables into true. Now that we've created these three variables, we're going to come here. We're going to choose these cards and we're going to assign variables to them. How we're going to do that here under layer, this I here, we're going to right click on it, then just assign these variables to them. So show USD, show NGN, and also show ER. So now we have all these variables assigned to these cards. Second thing we're gonna do, we're gonna actually go back and group these so we know like, and we're gonna call this currency. I just wanna make everything like super clean for you guys. So we're gonna name those currency and then we're gonna create a new variable. We're gonna create a new boolean variable called checkbox. And then we're gonna assign it to true as well we are going to come back down here and here in the checkbox we're gonna make sure that it's assigned to the check if it's already assigned that's because i did it from before but if it's not just gonna come here and click checkbox and assign this variable to this boolean and now we're gonna create a component with this checkbox and then we're gonna add another status so we have two different statuses here for our checkbox here the first status is on the second one has the status of an off checkbox so this is what we have let's design the off one i'm just gonna do a messy thing and just do this and now what you want to do is that now you want to paste this checkbox here in your cards which we have auto layouted and it's like 
easy for us to do make sure you just do that yes that's good now what you want to do here is that you want to prototype this using variables that if it's on it's going to show the card for example us city ng and your these are the cards that we're doing we're not doing all the cards you want to prototype it in some way that that effect happens so in order to do that you're going to come here you're going to go to prototype you're going to create this it's going to be on click change status to off whatever animation and now you're going to click here and add action you're going to set a variable here so by setting a variable you're saying that i want to set this variable that if the checkbox if is off show usd is going to be false and it's going to be that easy and then let's do the other thing go back if it's off and if it's click it's going to change to on and we'll add this variable which says that if the checkbox is on i want the show usd to become true and that's it that's how easy this this is going to get done okay now that we've put those checkboxes here i want to make sure that these are all in the off status i don't need them now let's just see how that works out this is on we have our usd dollar then this is off usd dollar is gone it's gonna be that easy so this was our first thing you can create this for other currencies here as well now the second thing we're gonna do is that we're going to create that text effect that i mentioned before the string one so what you want to do here you want to say that if a user clicked on this i want to go to this screen and that's the prototype here let's just create all the back buttons as well i'm pretty sure that is an easy way to do this but now first let's do this i want to say actually let's turn these ones on here as well because just for effect since they're on here as well we want to be able to type stuff here using our keyboard so when a user clicks on the input here they're gonna come here into the our search section in order to create that typing effect we're gonna come here we're actually gonna create a new variable a string variable it's gonna be search and it's going to be on let's just say hi for now in order for me to be able to show you now that we've created this variable i'm going to come here and i'm going to assign that variable right here in the text section to our text here i'm going to assign it then i'm going to come back to my variables and i'm just going to delete this because i don't want anything to be shown here okay i want this to be empty right now now let's do the beautiful thing I will only prototype the letters that I want to use, but if you prototype all of your keyboard, it's going to be super easy for you to be just use this keyboard everywhere. So I'm going to click on this U key. I'm going to create a new interaction on click. I want this. I want to set a variable. I want the search to search plus add to string the letter that is written there which is u for example i'm gonna add that to string then i'm just gonna come out and do the rest search to search add to s you're gonna put that under quotation mark as well that's our actually that was our s a wrongfully wrote it down d so it's our s and then let's do our d as well here on click set variable to search add quotation mark sorry quotation mark d quotation mark and also let's just say that if they clicked on return it's going to go to the next screen let's add our checkbox to that screen as well so now let's see what we're working on so if you click on search you're going to come here you can write u 
as the using these variables that i show you you can search it and then ta-da! you're gonna have it this is the difference between the, all the other variable tutorials out there i'm doing it on an actual app i'm doing it on something that is out there and you can actually see how it works also there's one more thing that if you wanted to delete the text that you added there you like delete the text that you wrote here using this button how you're gonna achieve that is that you're gonna click on that you're gonna create a new interaction on click set variable search to basically to empty quotation mark and that's it so let's just test that out i'm gonna write down usd here and then i'm just gonna click and tada it's removed vacation and our card ready we laid out everything perfectly let's create our variable we're gonna create a new variable again string variable we're gonna call it current row and then since we're on row one we're gonna add this to row two okay that's what we're playing with and now what you want to do here is that you want to assign this variable to your row card click here and i'm gonna add the current row to the variables so also gonna come here and assign that to current row as well so this is what we're playing with and now to prototype it just select your whatever like leads you to this which is going to be okay these two hold down command go to prototype and then just do this same user wants to go there same goes for this one and then the final one which is first row and that's pretty much it we didn't have to do anything else if you come here and you click on this this is just gonna change that easy in order to fix that let's just remove the current from this let's just have it on the first card let's see if that's fixed yeah that's fixed okay you guys that's all i'm gonna publish this with the correct name and with the correct setting for you guys in the community so you can use it and this one's without any type of prototype i'm also gonna link a couple of more tutorials and a couple of more files in figma that you can use to learn variables even better and that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you have any questions let me know in the comments what do you think about this series and don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe i'm watching you guys you gotta subscribe yeah let's see each other again in the design system video where we're going to use variables in a very much more vast way create components create a good design system for our clients for our projects and yeah that's basically it i'm going to see you in the next video have a nice day bye